So here comes Mohamed Hamu, and look at how marked up the face of the tournament number one seed is. And that is because he came through a real hard contest yesterday against Nathan Lunata from Cote d'Ivoire. Very fortunate to get the decision. Very, very fortunate. And that is how he's arrived here at the quarter-final stage. The man skipping his way to the boxing ring is Samuel Taki, just 19 years of age. And when we finished watching his contest yesterday, Richie, you said, well, if Hamu performs as he did yesterday and Samuel Taki performs as he did yesterday, you yeah. fancy Taki all day long. Yeah, I sure Judges does. from Italy, Guatemala, Belarus, Puerto Rico and the United States. What type of form will these men bring into this quarter-final contest. Hamu had a terribly difficult contest yesterday against Lunata from the Democratic Republic of Congo. This man fairly breezed his way through his second preliminary round contest against Yami, Yami Kami Ntambo of Malawi. Malawi. But Hamu even took a count in the third and final round. That's how torrid his day's work was yesterday. Taki looking very confident. So we're underway then. We're in the men's 57 kilogram featherweight division and this one between the tournament number one seed. That's the man wearing red, the sixth ranked boxer in the world, looking to book his place in his second consecutive Olympic Games. And that is Mohamed Hamu. The 26-year-old from Rabat in Morocco, the boxer wearing blue, is just beginning his Olympic boxing career on the international stage. That is Samuel Taki from Accra in Ghana. Both men received a bye in the first preliminary round of the featherweight bracket where 22 boxers entered. And it was a razor-sharp display yesterday from Taki at the expense of the man from Malawi. The two-time national championship gold medalist Yami Kami Ntambo eliminated unanimously. Yeah, he did box very, very well yesterday. I like lots of stuff that he done. His timing was very good. He threw that left hook on the counter all the time. Here you can see Hamu advancing as he did yesterday. Taki opt in his roll. The counter punch up. Guys. Not looking to work inside. Straight arm tactics again. So no one can punch. Well, that was a beautiful check left hand landed by Taki as Hamu was winding up with a shot. Good left hand to the body from Hamu and again, and then he brings a right hand body shot from the other flank. He really is targeting the torso of the teenager who escaped from that pressure he was under with a right smile, but then takes a right hand over the top. He's looking to box off the ropes and got through with a good right hand, but Hamu looking to swarm his teenage opponent from Ghana. Stuff for both guys there. Taki was pretty impressive. Punching off the ropes, but Hamu stalking relentlessly now. And you talked about, well, just managing elite Olympic-style boxing in tournament yeah. fashion. Hamu yesterday, well, his face is betraying the type of contest that he endured. He was practically punched to a standstill in the third and final round. A standing count gave him some respite, and yet he still had his hand raised as the victor. Yeah, he looked exhausted as well. Runs into a well-tightened straight right hand there from Taki. So how was his recovery process overnight? He's starting this one busily enough, looking to target the body, but look how composed oh, Taki is remaining under fire. He's having success on the back foot, bringing uppercuts through the middle. Hamu looking to impose his man strength. But again, Taki holding his own in this regard as yeah, well. Yeah, he sure is. Some lovely cam boxing there from Taki. Didn't succumb to Hamu's pressure. He packed his punches as he stood there. Oh, Hamu really sinking in these body shots. Taki oh. trying to fight fire with fire. Pulsating opening round between these two. And that shove at seed conceding round number one. 10-9 for all five scoring judges. He's up off his stool early to begin round number two. Looking to overturn a one-point deficit. So into the second round we go then, and the back foot punch picking of Samuel Taki, the 19-year-old oh, nice. team sensation who has just bought through a peach of a right uppercut, 
has impressed all five ringside judges here. Hamu looking to come out strong to impose himself on the contest once again. But Taki is proving impossible to ruffle. Nice. Boxing well off the Lovely ropes once punching. again with sharp punch picking. Hamu gets through the looping right hand but then made to miss as Taki skips away oh. to his left and lands a clipping little left hook on the retreat. Beautiful technical boxer from Taki there. Whilst under pressure he's remaining so calm and he's not a young fellow, 19 years old against this vastly experienced Moroccan boxer. He is remaining poised and calm and not flustered at all in the slightest. Well, both boxers dancing rather clumsily around the ring here. Neither one looking to work away at close range. And again, just to put this into context, Samuel Taki, oh, that's a big left hook from Hamu. Oh, but he but walks in there right left, hand. Left jab, right hand response. Anything he's landed has been answered. Anything. Hamu looking to work away to the body once again. Taki looking to prove his equal in that regard. But Hamu bulldozes forward once more, Good looking to shot. pin Taki Out into the, the red corner. Taki laying off some good body shots as well. And nudging shots up to the head of Hamu. Well, again, I'm surprised that neither one is looking to work away here, given the prowess they've demonstrated in the body punching department. So Hamu, breathing through an open mouth, lunges in with a big leaping left hook and trying to crowd and maul the 19-year-old. But Taki, keeping his wits about him, keeping his cool, but just has to watch that he doesn't get out old man out of this one yeah. and out physical on the inside. Because again, Hamu doing a good job of leaning down on the man in blue. Oh, nice. He's being pushed and pulled and tugged and... He's trading now. Oh, terrific left hand landed by Taki during the course of that exchange and both men really sinking in. Big scything hooks and uppercuts. Hamu trying to bulldoze his way forward, but look at the shoe shine cluster of shots coming from Taki. This has been a terrific round. Both boxers trying to show the referee that it's not them who's guilty of holding. Closing seconds of round number two. Hamu back onto the front foot once again. Taki tucking up tightly, lands a nudging right hand on the inside. Both boxers exchange left hooks. And it is oh, non-stop bro. punching of the toe-to-toe -to -toe wow, variety stop. between Hamu and Taki. A terrific, pulsating round of boxing. Fantastic work rate by both men. Taki again for me though, Ronald there in that round. Maybe not on all the judges' cards. I just feel he's cleaner, more effective boxing. As you can see here, lovely, sharp, crisp. Look at that, he kept his composure. He never takes his eyes off Hamu. Met by a beautiful one-two there. Although Hamu did have success with a left hook in that round. Well, it's a split. Samuel Taki taking it for judges B, C, and E. Yeah. Mohamed Hamu. Thought so. Taking it for two judges. So Samuel Taki in a commanding position for three of the scoring observers. Mohamed Hamu leads a massive final round here. He's got to look to sweep the board. Because remember, he's only tied things up for two of the judges. So it's 19 points apiece for two judges and 2018 for three judges in favor of Samuel Taki. He's in a really strong position here. Hamu is going to have to bring all his experience to bear. The reigning All-Africa Games gold medalist, the 2015 African Continental Championships gold medalist, looking to book his place at his second successive Olympic Games, having competed in Rio in the 56 kilogram bantamweight division nice. four years ago. Good and that was shot, a beautiful left-right combination from Taki. Oh my goodness, now a point has been docked, oh. and that has completely changed the complexion of this contest. Because really, in reality, short of dominating his man, all Taki can hope for is a 9-9 share of this round now. Oh. So that has put this one up for grabs. Mohamed Hamu is right back in the, in the mix. Well, Taki.
Mikey can consider himself really unfortunate because look, both men are leaning in and going to work in toe-to-toe -to -toe fashion. But it's he who has been doctor point for careless use of the head. But well, still, he's proving the equal of Hamu in these exchanges on the inside. Hamu was very fortunate yesterday as well. Now hold on. And his point has been docked the other oh, way. Dear. So both boxers looking to demonstrate the art of infighting and each has been docked a point for reckless use of the head. Now they're going to have to watch that they don't pick up a second infringement here which could tilt the contest once again. Oh, just like the boys books being exchanged Beautiful. by both men. Oh, look at that. Brilliant work by both men. And again, a ref. Ah, let them fight, ref. Speaking to both boxers, we don't want to see another infringement which could alter the outcome of this contest. But Come they're on. walking a perilous line here given how this third man is officiating oh, about. This is a fantastic boxing match. Both guys still fighting for dominance here. Oh, beautiful oh, right uppercut up from Taki. Beautiful punch. But Hamu comes back with a left of his own. And look at the busy hands from Taki. Hamu trying to equal him. And it's a toe-to-toe -to -toe exchange on the inside. Oh, lovely boxing from Taki there. Closing so seconds cool. of the third and final round of a round that is up for grabs. Both men have been docked a point for the same infringement of careless use of the head. Oh, Check left trade. hand by Taki was countered by a right hand from Hamu. It's another more fest on the inside, but Taki letting his hands go furiously. Nice. Hamu looking to match him in that regard. Punching right up until the final bell. And Taki skipping around the ring in celebration because he and his corner feel that he has done enough. And given the state of the contest going into the third and final round, it is difficult to see anything other than a victory for 19-year-old Samuel Taki of Ghana. Mohamed Hamu responded to take round two for two judges, which meant that for three judges, this man had a 20 points to 18 lead. Wow. A point has been docked from each man for careless use of the head in round three. Let's take a look at the scores. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner by unanimous decision in the blue corner. And it's Samuel Taki. Samuel Taki, the 19-year-old teen sensation from Ghana.